msemaji tumetoka katika uzinduzi wa maktaba nzuri na ya kisasa na tukio linalofuata sasa ni uzinduzi wa mabweni hapa a, katika cho hiki cha CBC hapa Dodoma na tukio hili linafanywa na askofu mkuu Dr. Barnabas mtoka mbali akiwa anashirikiana na wageni hao ambao wameweza kufadhili na kuweza kusababisha majengo haya kuweza kukamilika kama yanavyoonekana ni tukio mtazamaji la uzinduzi sasa wa, wa mabweni haya kwa ajili ya wanafunzi ambao wanasoma hapa katika chuo hiki cha CBC hapa Dodoma naweza 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 akura wakufana kulia naweza Yesu anaweza anaweza akuna wakufana na Yesu I invite board members of priority one. Na wakaribisha wajumbe wa board. All, bo all board members of priority one, please come forward. Wajumbe Reverend Jim. Ya priority one. Jim Ryan, please. Wasoge hapa. Come forward. Board members of priority one. Reverend Jim Ryan please prayer Baba yetu na Mungu wetu tunakushukuru Sante kwa ajili ya siku hii ya leo Umetupa neema ya kuwepo hapa na kushiriki furaha hii ambayo Mungu umeiweka ndani yetu Tunatambua mikazi ya uwezo wako mahali hapa na tunakurudisha utokofu Asante Mungu kwa sababu sasa tunaingia katika tendo la baraka sana la kuweka wakfu majengo haya ambayo Mungu yatatumika kwa kazi ya mabweni katika jina la Yesu nimeomba amen amen so briefly kwa kifupi these were the uh, first dormitories of by then assembly of god bible college Uh, haya ni mabweni ambayo mwanzoni yaliitwa yalikuwepo wakati wa chuo kikiitwa chuo cha Biblia cha Assemblies of God and uh, these dormitories saved a lot na mabweni haya kwa kweli kimsingi yalifanya kazi nzuri sana in these uh, four buildings we had the administrative offices ndani ya majengo haya tulikuwa na ofisi za utawala some of the rooms were used as uh, classrooms lakini pia baadhi ya vyumba vilitumika kama madarasa lakini pia yalitumika kama maeneo ya makazi ya wanafunzi they were built uh, in early 80s majengo haya yalijengwa mwanzoni kabisa mwa miaka ya 80 so by 2002 uh, 2012 when Sam Johnson visited us These buildings were too old. Majengo haya yalikuwa yamezeeka kabisa. They had very very small windows. Yalikuwa na madirisha madogo sana. And the louvers were almost uh, impossible to open or even to, to shut the, 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 the windows. Dr. Sam alipotembelea, he saw the dormitories. Aliona mabweni and he, he sympathized with us akatuonea huruma sana so when we were dedicating dakota academic center kwa hiyo wakati tunaweka wakfu jengo la dakota academic center 
a new idea came of renovating these old dormitories. Wazo jipia likazaliwa la kuyaboresha tena haya majengo ya zamani. And uh, these four dormitories with the library uh, were renovated together. Kwa hiyo haya majengo pamoja na jengo la maabara yani ya maabara jengo kwa pamoja. The work began in 2020. Kwa hiyo kazi ilianza mwaka 2020 and uh, they were completed done by 2021. Na baada ya mwaka this uh, terrazzo floor you see here the aluminium windows even the foundation was around all the buildings these are new to strengthen the buildings the total cost for this big renovation uh, was about 200,000 $200,000 that means each dormitory was renovated uh, by $50,000 we, we have all the reasons to give glory for what he has done to us through our priority one the students are now enjoying and uh, uh, the, uh, each of this dormitory can accommodate so total number of the four dormitories is almost uh, one, 128 uh, according to the capacity uh, we envisioned and uh, after the completion the master plan of, of building CBC is complete we will have a capacity of uh, about 500 students for now we can accommodate about 350 students so we have one more dormitory that is needed to be built the archangel and the angels around us we are optimistic something good will happen all glory to jesus amen amen now we welcome my assistant general superintendent or assistant archbishop i'm the only bishop on earth Mimi ndio askofu pekee duniani with two assistants ambaye ninawasaidizi wawili one is black and another one is white mmoja ni mweupe na mmoja ni mweusi one reside in Tanzania another one reside in United States mmoja anakaa Tanzania mwingine anakaa America so let me invite, invite my deputy to speak something hebu nimkaribishe msaidizi wangu aseme jambo thank you my dear brother thank you very much asante ndugu yangu asante sana Quickly, I want to say that we were here with some pastors and they caught the vision to do the remodeling. Reverend Steve Shirey, the superintendent of the Assemblies of God of South Dakota, was one of them. And unfortunately, he could not be here today because he, because of a storm that wouldn't let him get on his in addition to him and brethren from South Dakota no. in addition to him and other pastors from South Dakota there was a very dear man who loved Dr. Barnabas he was a, he was a rancher and a farmer and he pledged one hundred thousand dollars and he gave one hundred thousand dollars and unfortunately 
several months after this was all completed. He had an accident on his ranch that took his life. But we remember him today and his dear widow. Because they helped to make this possible. To God be the glory. Ipo furaha ya mtu anayetoa and is the joy for the one who gives na iko furaha ya mtu anayepokea and is and is the one who receives sisi kama TG tuna furaha kubwa sana we as TG we are very happy kupokea majengo haya manne ya bweni to receive these four dormitories yakiwa yanang'aa na kumelemeta is good as you can see yamepakwa lipstick za kila aina you know if they have been lipstick then they, they, are, they look shiny sasa hebu tulipuke kwa furaha kubwa sana 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 Sasa tutafanya kazi ya uzinduzi. Now we are going to uh, dedicate this yeah. building. Inaugurate. Inaugurate this building. Kwa sababu yalikusha wewe kwa wakfu tayari. Oh, because they were formally uh, dedicated already. Kwa hiyo naomba sasa tuweke wakfu tu, tuzindue majengo haya. Now let us inaugurate the building. And the authority that I'm given is the Archbishop of this good Tanzania Assemblies of God Church with the fellowship of our brethren from South Dakota and with the fellowship and the partnership with the Priority One and North Dakota as well Tunazindua rasmi mabweni haya manne. We inaugurate these four dormitories. Katika jina la Mungu Baba. In the name of the Father. Mungu Mwana. Name of the whole, the, Father, the Son. Na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Vigelegele vingi na shangwe na nderemo na vifijo vya Kiafrika. Hallelujah. Welcome here now. Welcome, Ross. Come here, Jim. Jim. Stand beside us. Sasa. Now we inaugurate these buildings of these four dormitories. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In appreciation for Priority One partners. Kwa kutambua Priority One watani kwa kutambua ushirika wa uh, priority one for their generous support kwa utoaji wao wa ukarimu these four renovation re renovated hostels haya majengo manne yaliyokarabatiwa are dedicated this day yanaweka wakfu siku ya leo of 10th August 2022 tarehe 10 mwezi wa 8 mwaka 2022 for the glory of God kwa utukufu wa Mungu and in the extension of his kingdom na kwa kuendeleza ufalme wake by Reverend Dr. Barnabas Mtokambali na mchungaji Dr. Barnabas Mtokambali the general superintendent of Tanzania Assemblies of God askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Tanzania Assemblies of God amen amen Amen. 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 Kipeke namshukuru sana Sam Johnson. In a very special way I would like to thank brother John Samson. Nashukuru sana Priority One Partners. And I thank Priority One Partners. Namshukuru sana baba yetu Jim Lyon. And our father Jim Lyon. 
Tunamshukuru sana eh, mjumbe wa board ya Pilate 1 mchungaji Ross. And the member of the board brother Ross. Asante sana kwa ushirika wenu. Thank you so much for your fellowship. Tunamshukuru sana eh, Amen. Jonas Mkoba. And Jonas Mkoba. Mkurugenzi mkuu wa idara ya elimu. The director of education department. Na mjumbe wa halmashauri kuu. And members of executive council. Na mkuu wa chuo hiki. And the head of this college. Kwa usimamizi mzuri wa ujenzi wa chuo hiki. For a wonderful supervision of Na mabweni yote haya manne. And all these dormitories. Na library ambayo tumeizindua pale. The library which has already been there. Hebu kwa pamoja tuwape makofi ya asante mengi sana. Wa TAG wenzangu Dear my fellow TAG Tuendele kuwa na umoja Let us keep on our unity Tuendele kuwa na umoja Let us keep on have our unity Mahali penye umoja Because a place where there is unity Mungu na amuru baraka The Lord command a blessing Na tunazipokea baraka hizi And we receive the blessing Katika jina la buwana In the name of the Lord Amen Amen Na mtazamaji wa NYTV ni uzinduzi wa uh, maktaba ambayo imefanyika hapa lakini pia na uzinduzi wa hosteli ambazo zimekarabatiwa na kuwa mpya sasa kwa ajili ya kuweza kuwasaidia wanafunzi ambao wanasoma hapa katika chuo hiki cha CBC Dodoma. Hapa nipo na mkurugenzi mkuu wa idara ya elimu uh, Dr. Jonas Mkoba lakini pia yeye ni mkuu wa chuo hiki. Twende tusikie atatuambia nini kusiana uh, na kikitu hiki ambacho kimefanyika hapa. Bwana siwe baba. Amen na bwana sifa sana. Karani sana. Asante. Kuna hiki kilichofanyika hapa pengine tusikie kutoka kwako una jambo gani la kuzungumza? Ah mimi nina kila sababu za kumshukuru Mungu ambaye aa, kwa wema wake amewainua wahisani ambao wameshirikiana na sisi kuweza kupanua wigo wa elimu. Na elimu bila kuwa na mahali ambapo wanafunzi wanaweza kalala tena mahali pa, pa kujisikia vizuri hata kujifunza kunaweza kukaa kugumu kwa hiyo kwa kuwa a, mabweni haya yamekarabatiwa na yako vizuri wanafunzi wanajisikia vizuri kuja na kujifunza mahali hapa lakini ili elimu ikamilike kuna kufanya utafiti na huwezi kufanya utafiti mzuri kama hakuna maktaba kwa hiyo kupanuliwa na kukarabatiwa kwa maktaba ile Kuna tuongezea uwigo wa kuwa na vitabu vingi vya kutosha Lakini na mahali pazuli pa mtu kujifunzia Kwa hiyo sisi tunamshukuru mungu kwa mambo haya makubwa yeah. Tunakushukuru sana baba Asante sana Lakini labda pengine utakuwa na neno kwa wanafunzi ambao wanasoma hapa uh, Pengine kusiana na hili ambalo limefanyika hapa Hostel zizi Umesema majengo alikuwa ni azamani lakini sasa amekarabatiwa Pengine mwanzoni walikuwa wanaingia wanafunzi wangapi Na sasa hivi wanaingia wangapi kwenye ya, majengo haya ya hostel Kule mwanzoni Japo majengo yalikuwa ni ya zamani lakini watu walikuwa wanaka wengi kwa sababu hatukuwa na namna. Yalikuwa ndo mabweni pekee. Haya tumeangalia leo ya upanuzi. Lakini hawa hawa wadau wametujengea na bweni lingine kubwa lenye uwezo wa kuchukua wanafunzi 216. Kwa hiyo sasa nafasi yetu imeongezeka ya kuchukua wanafunzi lakini hawalali kwa kubanana kama ilivyokuwa pale mwanzoni. Wanalala vizuri kwa starehe. Na hiyo ni encouragement. Hiyo ina, inatia moyo na kumuhamasisha mwanafunzi ajisikie vizuri kuwepo shuleni. E, mana kuna mahali pazuri pa kulala. E, na wewe ulie mbali kama wanatamani kusoma masomo ya theolojia, biblia na theolojia, bus central bible college ndo penyewe. Hapa ni kisima cha theolojia. Eli mzuri na bora inatolewa, mandhari ni nzuri, mazingira ni mazuri, eneo la kulala lipo la kutoshi. Asante. Asante mungu wa kubariki baba. Amina asante.